And now for something a little different. It's day 160. Today, while we are waiting on our final plaster coat to dry, as we observe it for several days to make sure it doesn't crack, we're going to shift our attention to our solar water pump house thing. Yeah. <laughs> that we're building to house our pump and some power stuff, and it's all going to be connected to this big rainwater tank behind us. It's going to, you know... <sighs> Why do we keep tackling all these big projects? I don't, you know, it was supposed to be just like a simple thing, mm -hmm. and it's turned into so many different things because we sat out here for like 30 minutes, and we're like, ooh, but what if we did this? And what if we... We're not going to tell you everything we decided because there's a good chance it'll change halfway through today. But we're going to get started on this. Um, First order of business is we did bury a pipe down here because our water will go under this wall and up to the other side, mm -hmm. as well as in this box that's going to be on the back wall. Right. So we've got to we've got to redig this out because with all the rains it's kind of filled in. And then but there's also another pipe that goes into the chicken run and it yep. does the same thing as well. So we've got a whole trenching situation inside this wall we got to do, and then we've got to dig this out too. And then we got to hook up a bunch of stuff. I'm not, yeah, it's, you'll see. You'll you see start, what happens. You want to start digging? I'm ready. It's a dig day. Okay. <laughs> that was an awkward ending. That was real awkward. <laughs> So the idea is it's got to come under that back wall, but then we've also got to trench over to this junction point, which also goes under the wall. So we're going to do pecs there so it's flexible, so it'll be like the shortest distance. So we've got to basically trench from there to here at at least 18 inches down because that is the frost line. like that. How much do you love digging trenches? I don't love it. Thankfully, this is a short one. 
Well, it doesn't feel very short. <laughs> Why didn't we do this when we dug the holes to begin with? In the winter when it was cold. Because I think we were worried that the water lines coming up were going to get in the way while we were building. It's Oh my, remind me not to dig trenches in the summer again. <laughs> you remember when we put up our whole fence in the summer? You remember when we dug the electrical trench in the summer? Yeah. We really need to plan our seasons a little better. Uh, I think we should take a break and go to the coffee shop. What do you think? Nine, you won't go to the coffee shop. Huh? Come on, let's go. Oh, come on. Today on Make It Monday, I'm gonna be showing you how we make our cheese out of our goat milk. We're gonna turn this one and a half gallons of fresh goat milk into a simple farmer's cheese. This is a great cheese to get started with. Simply add the one and a half gallons of milk to a good sized pot, and we're gonna bring it up to temperature low and slow. With it being summer, all of our meals and cooking is done outside. While we're waiting on the milk to come to temperature, we're gonna go ahead and juice our lemons. And of course, I did not have enough lemons, so I'm substituting some lime juice. We need two cups for this recipe. Sometimes the hardest part is just waiting for the milk to come to temperature, but once it reaches 182, we're going to add the juice, give it a quick stir, and let it sit outside in the heat for 15 minutes. Once that's done, we bring it inside, get our cheesecloth and sieve ready, and ladle it into the cheesecloth. It should look something like this. Now we're just gonna hang the cheese up and let it drain. This could take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and a half. If you're impatient like I am, you can squeeze the whey out of the cheese and speed up the process. Now we're gonna add the cheese to a bowl. Pick your favorite cheesening and season well. This is just my blend of garlic, salt, pepper, basil, oregano, and rosemary. Instead of using a cheese mold, I just use this round mug, about a half a cup of cheese, press it in firmly, and then dump that round out onto a plate. This recipe should make four rounds that are about a half a cup each. At this point, you can wrap in plastic and store in your fridge up to a week.
Make sure you watch next week because we're going to be using this goat milk cheese to make some homemade pasta. Okay, we're back from the coffee shop um, and we're trying to figure out how to mount our, I don't know, water spigot, I guess is what you would call it. It's very awkward over here. So here's a, a rough, a rough idea of how this will work. We've got this uh, four foot pipe, you got an elbow and then your spigot down at the bottom. We'll have a T and these will go to PEX fittings, which will then crimp on. So the pipe is way down under there. So the pipe is going to, the PEX is going to come through and connect and then it's going to go, the PEX will continue out this way to the next one. But we don't want just this pipe to sit in the dirt and loosen over time. So we're trying to, we got a four by four that we're going to try to mount to the earth bag wall. And then we will mount this pipe to that. I don't think we've ever mounted anything to the earth bag wall like this before, have we? Not this big. Uh -uh. Yeah, so we've got very long lag screws. Uh, we're going to pre-drill so that it's not, so it's uh, pushing through there and make sure it's level. We lined up the pipe on the bottom so that it will be far enough out. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Somebody got dirt in my shoes. Behind the scenes, uh -huh. <laughs> behind the scenes digging trenches. <laughs> this is where pants would come in handy. <laughs> in place that means we get to start running the pecs which is pretty sweet i'm excited are you excited she seems real excited We should push it through the other side first. Pull it out that way according to my rough calculations. Okay, so the first one is here. This, it's not permanently installed. We're gonna get a pipe strapping on this in a minute. But what we wanna do is go ahead and connect the other water line. It'd be basically the same thing, but it's on the inside of the chicken run. 
and then we're going to pressurize it and make sure that none of our joints are leaking before we fill this all back in. You got the blue eyes screaming. You got my heart skipping beats every night. You got that something classic. You got me thinking it's you I'm missing. You got that showstop smile. You got my mind dreaming every day. You got that something brand new. You got me thinking it's you I'm missing. I've seen the world, but nothing's better than loving you, girl. I've been waiting time and time again. I've been searching, but nothing else will do. It's gotta be you. Okay, everything is hooked up, so we're gonna try something weird because we don't actually have the pump or anything here, but we do have pressurized water from the other solar pump way over there that's run to this hose. So I've got an adapter thingy that goes from garden to three quarter pecs. So I'm gonna put this on and then we're going to squeeze it on the pecs there and we're gonna see if it leaks. <laughs> It must be like, un I think it's under here where this is taped up. No leaks, everything's working. We're gonna fill this trench back in so we don't trip and die. I've come to find out here on the road. So many men with talent Only a few have the soul Oh, okay. We are exhausted. Ashley's gone to take a shower, so I'm wrapping up for the day. We got both of these spigots put in. They're mounted to the wall, and then uh, all the pecs is run, and we water tested them. Everything seems to work. So that's a really great first step. What we have to do now is finalize the size of our little pump house, how tall it's going to be, how wide, how deep, and exactly where it's going to go back by the water tank. Mark that out and then we'll lay some earth bags. So hopefully that's what we'll be doing the next time we see. As I'm looking at my face in water, I wonder if I am Maybe I'm no better than the man who pays a dollar for a fee Maybe I'm no different than the ones who are running all of this Well, I'm just searching for a peace of mind And I'm just a traveler and food for time Around me now Are the parts of experiment Some have failed 
some that flow.